Here is a 3D representation of a 9K720 Iskander, also known as SS26 Stone. A single Iskander system is packed with two missiles powered by a solid fuel propellant. It can pack cluster bombs, fragmentation warhead and a fuel air explosive warhead. This missile has bunker busting capability and can also carry nuclear warheads. The top section contains guidance equipments. The missile uses optical guidance in its terminal stage. It uses inertial guidance, GLONASS and radar guidance to achieve an accuracy of 3 to 5 meters. The next section contains the warhead. We will discuss it later. Behind the warhead lies the control system. The crazy computer inside it receives images of the target from a satellite or an aircraft. The bottom section houses the fuel tank, rocket engine and decoys. At 4,615 kilograms it weighs as much as 23 adult gorillas. The missile is 24 feet long, 3 feet in diameter and carries 700 kilograms of warhead. It can climb up to 50 kilometers in the air to strike targets 500 kilometers away. It travels at 7,500 kilometers per hour which is three times faster than most fighter jets. Fake news is much faster though. It can penetrate missile defense systems by releasing decoys and performing evasive maneuvers. The decoys are equipped with a heat source to bamboozle infrared guided missiles and a jammer to disrupt radar frequency emitters. At 70 km per hour, the transporter can cover a distance of 1,100 km. Let's talk about the cost. You need to collect income tax from 10,256 Russian elementary school teachers for a year to fund one Iskander system. It doesn't even come with RGB lighting, which is a shame given its price tag. Let's have a look at the thermobaric warhead inside it. Conventional explosives have a mixture of fuel and oxidizer. But a thermobaric weapon contains explosives only, and instead, uses the atmospheric oxygen as oxidizer. This enclosure allows a high pressure to build up. Shock waves from initial explosion, builds up a big volume of combustible material. The flame from primary explosion, will ignite the secondary cloud. Its cloud size depends on, the dispersion of explosive material from initial pressure wave, triggered by the scatter charge, the ease of ignition, and the rate at which the explosive material will burn, depends on several factors, such as, its concentration, type of confinement, particle surface area, and cloud turbulence. Father, and mother of all bombs, work on the same principle. When the ignited cloud cools down, it creates a sudden drop in pressure, which creates a vacuum. There is a misunderstanding, that it only ends your life subscription, by removing oxygen, and making you suffocate. Actually, in open spaces, the shock waves it generates are more destructive, than the vacuum. These were the key highlights, of an Iskander missile system. Now the question is, how are these weapons helping mankind? But that's a complicated topic, right? Let us know what you think, in the comments. And if you liked the video, then feel free to share it. Subscribe, and enable notify,